Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Slab and Sundays, where I take rocks and fossils I find from the western shore of Lake Michigan, cut them into slabs so I can use those slabs for cabochons and jewelry and other things. So this week, the two we have, we have two stromatoporoids, very, very different from each other. We have this very white and yellow wispy one, which usually clears up on the inside, but we'll see. I'm not sure... I'm probably going to go this way so I can get more slabs out. I might go the long way. I haven't decided yet, but that'll be the first one. And then the second one is this very, very different stromatoporoid that's like all included with chert. And it actually might just be chert. There actually might not even be stromatoporoid in here. It might just be crazily banded chert or something. But I'm going to get some slabs out of this thing. So you can see there's a fracture right there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my first cut right on the side of that fracture and then I'll try to get at least one or two slabs out of this side, but that should turn out really cool as long as some of that stuff comes through the inside. But let's get the 10 inch slab saw set up and we'll get slabbing. Okay, so I cut a couple slabs out of that first one. So why I stopped was because I thought maybe if it looks really good in here, I might turn this end piece into like a freeform piece. So that's why I stopped at two, but I did get two really good slabs out of it so far. So let's see the end. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice wispy one. So hopefully we get rid of all this pittiness like this in the slabs. That's a really good one though. Look at all those colors. So that's the end. So then here we got the first side of the first slab. And uh, that pittiness is kind of in there, but that's not too bad. It's got that brown contrast in there. It's really sweet. Yeah, I think that pit's gonna go all the way through, but that's all right. So there's some of that white coming through, a nice little white eye right there. So that's a sweet slab. We'll definitely be able to get something out of that. And then our second slab. Yep, that pit stayed in, but that's okay. I can I can go around that and make something out of this side. These actually turned out really good. All those lines will kind of start popping out. And here's the other side. Yep, pretty good, pretty typical. Usually a lot of this white goes away though, so this one's a little better than normal because it's got all this white inclusions in here. And then here's the end piece. So that pit might stop there. So I might, yeah, I might actually just keep this piece um, and maybe make like a little tower or something out of it. But yeah, it's uh, turned out really good. Like I said, a lot of that white usually doesn't come through, but it did on this one, so I'm glad. So let's get into that second one. Okay, so we are through that second one. I got two slabs. We'll see what's in there. I got one little peek, so I think it's super awesome. But oh, let's take a look. <laughs> look at that. So I think what this is, oh, it looks like a little pterodactyl or something right there. I think what this just was, was this is all staining on the outside of a really crazy mudstone. But look at that. Oh my gosh. So I might actually try to just make this a little standing stone too, since I have enough. All right, so first slab, let's see if that comes through. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Look at all that patterning in there. Wow. All different, oh, look at that. Other side's got some really dark towards the bottom. Oh, look at that contrast. That is super awesome right there. That's going to be for something special for sure. All right, that's just the first slab. Let's see if the second slab's that good too. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Like, look at that. Like, kind of how it's got the channels coming down even. That is really, really awesome. Probably the best. Wow. Probably the best mudstone I've seen, if that's what this is. 
I'm having a hard time believing it is, but I mean, it just looks like other ones that I've found, but I don't know if it's not, let me know in the comments, but oh, is that a fracture right there? No. So yeah, that was definitely a win. Definitely went two for two today. Those stromatoporite uh, slabs were pretty sweet too. Then here's the end piece. <laughs> Look at that, that is so crazy. <laughs> I might try to get one more off of there, even though this thing was a really hard cut to begin with, but. All right, if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.